Inside Edition with Deborah Norville. Now back to the hurricane, which hit land in Louisiana with 150 mile an hour winds. That ties for the most intense hurricane on record to strike the state. The debris in the path tells the story of Ida's destruction and once again puts the spotlight on new building techniques that can withstand such force. Houses torn apart, roofs blown away like paper. What could survive 140 miles per hour winds? This house can. It was actually designed to remain intact during a hurricane. In 2018, Bonnie Paulson, a retired flight attendant, had settled into her new home in Mexico Beach, Florida, when Category 5 Hurricane Michael struck with devastating force, even more powerful than Ida. Her neighborhood looked like a war zone. There was nothing here. Nothing. As a matter of fact, uh, one of those houses flew past our house and landed in the woods over there. But her house was the only one left standing. How was that possible? Why this house and not the others? Currently, we can design homes up to 190 mile an hour wind speeds. Steve Linton is president of Dell Tech Homes, the company that built Bonnie's house and 5,000 others like it with the same design and hurricane prone locations all over the world. Time after time, home after home, it's left standing with no structural damage. The homes are constructed to be twice as strong as a typical house, from the walls to the roof fasteners. So this doesn't happen. Holy hell! The most unique hurricane-resistant feature of the stylish 1,600-square-foot home is the rounded design from the walls to the roof. The aerodynamics are going to push that wind around the house and build up less pressure on the home. In the event of a storm surge, the home sits atop 14 feet reinforced concrete pilings, sunk 25 feet down. If your home is still standing after the storm, you know, you've made your investment back time and time again. And that's good enough for Bonnie. My house survived the hurricane.